Hey everybody, it's Mike from Remax Erie Shores. And you know, a little over five years ago, my family and I relocated from the GTHA to Norfolk County, and we absolutely love it. But just like any transition or any change, there are positives and there are negatives. So today I wanted to do a quick video, a pros and cons video comparing Norfolk County to the GTHA. If that sounds interesting, stick around and let's jump in. So like any pros and cons list, it's obviously very subjective and this is my point of view. So this is my pros and cons list for Norfolk County. Okay, let's start off with some pros and the first one is going to be relaxed lifestyle. Norfolk County simply offers a more relaxed lifestyle or just a little bit of a slower pace of life. Now, another great aspect of living in Norfolk County is the traffic or lack of it. That's certainly an aspect of living in a larger city that I do not miss. And when you live in a larger city, traffic is just something you accept. It's part of your daily life. It's something you're used to. It's your normal. Getting around is just a lot more relaxed and leisurely. And although I need to do need to drive most places, it's to me, it's not an inconvenience. Living in a smaller community, that's just one headache you no longer have to deal with. And uh, that's certainly one of the big parts I enjoy about living out here. Crime rates also tend to be a little better in Norfolk County compared to the GTHA with Area Vibes scoring Norfolk a B plus, uh, Hamilton a C plus, and Toronto a B minus and obviously that's uh, done on a per capita basis. There's lower population density out here. This gives you more space. Uh, you're not really as crammed to your neighbors and people as you are in the big cities. And that leads to a little bit of a more relaxed and laid back lifestyle. Next up, we've got lower cost of living. According to areavibes.com, Norfolk County scores a B plus in cost of living, Hamilton a C minus, and Toronto scores an F. Hot button topics like groceries and services tend to be a little cheaper in Norfolk County. Another plus to Norfolk County is during the summer harvest seasons, you have access to some of the best farm to table produce available. Up next, scenic environment. Now I'm not gonna jump into this topic too much because I've covered it in a lot of other videos, but if you love outdoor activities, Norfolk County is for you. Whether it's summer, being on the lake or being on rivers or on the amazing trail systems or winter, ice fishing, snowmobile, you name it, it you can do it here in Norfolk County. It's a great place for the outdoor enthusiast. Now the last pro I'm gonna to discuss today is obviously the big one and that is housing affordability. At the time of filming, the average price in Norfolk County is $662,000. Hamilton's average home price came in at around $795,000. And lastly, Toronto came in at $1,026,703. Generally, you get a lot more bang for your buck in Norfolk County than you do in Hamilton and Toronto. Now that we've talked up some of the pros, let's look into some of the cons. If you're not familiar with my channel, my name is Mike Kasney. I am a local realtor right here in town, and I help lots of people buy and sell real estate in Norfolk County every year. And if you are thinking of making a move in Norfolk County, reach out, I'd love to help you too. Now let's jump back in. The first one we're gonna talk about is limited employment. Norfolk County simply has fewer job opportunities than Hamilton and Toronto. And I think that's also pretty obvious and goes without saying, we just simply don't have the business, commerce, or industry that these other two cities have. Next up is infrastructure limitations. I mentioned earlier in one of the pros how I enjoy the lack of traffic out here, but the, uh, the other side of that coin is everything is a little more spread out. So you do need a car to commute, and if you are a family, you'll likely need two cars depending on your activities. Public transportation out here, it does exist, but it, uh, it pales in comparison to the access that you have in larger cities. There's less shopping, access to airports is a little further away. You're either gonna commute to Hamilton, London, or Toronto. There's less retail options. There is shopping, but you're not gonna have that kind of mall experience you're gonna find in the GTHA. That also reflects in a smaller social scene as well compared to the larger cities. 
If you like uh, major sporting events, big concerts, or really any other large entertainment platform, you are going to need to commute to Hamilton or Toronto for that. The good news is it's really not that far away and there are other options in getting there, especially the GO train now. Uh, but that is again something for a different video, but you will have less options uh, locally in Norfolk County to enjoy those types of things. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for sticking around. I did want to keep it brief, but that is a pro and cons list for Norfolk County based on my experience over the last five plus years. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Cheers.